program to help some Wisconsin farmers is at the center of a controversy. A group of white farmers are suing the Biden administration over a COVID-19 relief program. It provides loan forgiveness to minority farmers. CBS 58's Kristen Barbarisi is live with why the farmers say this is unconstitutional. Kristen. That lawsuit was filed in federal court in Green Bay yesterday. Two of the five farmers suing are from Wisconsin. They say skin color shouldn't be used to determine who gets this assistance. A COVID relief bill passed earlier this year includes $4 billion to a loan forgiveness program for black and other minority farmers. The USDA says previous COVID relief bills missed these groups. But farmers, including Adam Faust of Calumet County, Wisconsin, are suing, saying white farmers shouldn't be excluded. The conservative law firm, the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, is handling the case. A lot of farmers uh, were impacted by COVID and it didn't matter what the color of their skin was. Uh, the price of milk affects all, all farmers regardless of their race or ethnicity. Lennington says using race to determine who gets the money is unconstitutional. Our farmers are not asking for their loans to be forgiven specifically. They want the criteria to be race neutral. John Boyd, the founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association, says he's been lobbying for debt relief for black farmers for 30 years. Under the Trump administration alone, $29 billion was told out uh, to primarily white farmers and, and, and uh, corporate farmers in this country. 0.05% went to black farmers. Boyd calls this lawsuit disappointing. If black farmers were treated with dignity and respect and wasn't being discriminated against, there wouldn't be a need for measures like this. In a statement, the USDA told me they are reviewing this complaint along with the Department of Justice. But in the meantime, they are going to move forward with this program and handing that money out to those minority groups. Live in Milwaukee, Kristen Barbarisi, CBS 58 News.